Before we get into the video guys, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subbed to this channel, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details within the video description. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today we're going to take a look at a few in-game hidden easter eggs and a few secrets you might not know about. But before we go any further, further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy apex videos be sure to subscribe okay so let's start within the training area now this is an area i'm guessing you've been to when you first started the game you were no doubt rushing through this arena as you wanted to get into the battle royale mode and get to work yes i was exactly the same but after going back into it there are actually a few hidden easter eggs to be found if you guys want to check them out skip the shooting targets rubbish and get exploring. So hidden throughout this training course and the battle royale map are small dinosaur teddies, also known as Nessie, short for the Loch Ness Monster. Now I ain't sure what it is with Nessie and Respawn but Titanfall also had these hidden Loch Ness Monsters too. Respawn was super interested in people finding these. As with the Angel City Titanfall DLC, these Nessie teddies were also added into the multiplayer side of the game before you could only find them within a campaign mode. So why Nessies? Why put the doll of a Scottish myth in the game? Well your guess is as good as mine. I think it's now got to the stage where this is their kind of tag and know that every game going forward from now from Respawn will have these Nessie dolls hidden somewhere within them. Now these I do believe are hidden across the Battle Royale map also like I said but there are a few within this training area as you can see on screen now this first one. Now you can also see a family of Nessies if you get up high enough and have a sniper to scope in as you can see me doing on screen now so that is pretty cool. Now I've tried to research Respawn and the Loch Ness Monster and all that keeps coming up is videos showcasing the easter eggs from Titanfall. So what is the story behind this? If you guys know let me know down below within that comment section. Now also within this training area there is another easter egg but this one beholds a sad story to go with it. So follow the path I take on screen now and you will eventually come to this little black dog or dog toy. Also on the Battle Royale map there is actually a shrine for this dog with a real life picture there of a dog plus its owners. So what's the story behind this little pooch? Well this is where it kind of gets sad people. So a level designer for Apex Legends called Jason McCord actually explained what the story behind this was. He states responding to a Kotaku post. The last paragraph reads, I'm still curious about this dog though especially because it seems so beloved. I am not a pet owner so I don't know. But maybe creating dog shrines hidden in a video game is just your average way to show your devotion to your furry friend. So he states our dog of 10 years passed away suddenly from health issues while I was working hard on Kings Canyon. As any animal lover knows this was a crushing blow to my morale and made many days hard to come to work. Shady was our best friend so I wanted her to live on in this little corner of the map. It legit makes me feel better to visit this area sometimes, thanks for reading. He goes on to state, here's a picture of the shrine from the article. A dog plushie and a picture of Shady with a picture of myself and my wife, so pretty sad guys. And I also, well it was a few years back now, my German Shepherd died. So this hits me right in the feels for sure. So it is a great addition to the game and it has a proper backstory to go with it. The shrine is found within the marketplace area if you guys do want to go and pay your respects. So let's move on to another minor easter egg. Uh, this one can be found on a legendary skin for the Mastiff shotgun. The skin is called the Warp Zone and if you look closely you can see a little image of Mega Man or that old school classic game made by Capcom. Now as far as I know there are no real ties between Respawn and Capcom so I guess this was just put in place by someone who is a real big fan of the franchise. Also looking through some more of these weapon skins we have this skin for the Prowler called the Dark Realm which looks design wise a lot like the Vigilance Wing from Destiny. Also the skin the Light Worker has that very same design. Yeah for sure the Vigilance Wing is based off uh, the Egyptian theme with Osiris but looking at these two designs side by side they do look very similar indeed. Is it a nod to Destiny? I ain't sure but it's a coincidence if not. So let's move on people and on to Bloodhound, one of the best design characters in the game, especially with some of them locked legendary skins. They do look absolutely incredible indeed. But did you guys know Bloodhound was originally a Titanfall character, seen by this image on screen now, from a Titanfall guide. 
The page is for graphics and modeling. Top right of the page, who do you see? Yes, that's Bloodhound. So that's pretty cool. Now I did play Titanfall a lot. The campaign within that game, the first game was basically online multiplayer PvP action. Titanfall 2's campaign was just incredible, but I'd remember if I saw Bloodhound within it. So I'm guessing this design was cut from Titanfall and added into Apex. Now we all know it's from the same universe which makes sense, but it's still good to know that is for sure. So let's move on people, and did you guys know about the secret in-game menu which allows you to pick your local server to play on? I know a couple of people did, but the mass majority do not know about this. Now the menu seems to show up pretty randomly. I tried pressing every button at every menu at every stage of the game and just couldn't get it to show. But in the end people I figured it out. So console users, this is what you need to do. When you load up the game you will come to this screen where you have to press A or X to continue. What you need to do here is not continue on but select the change profile option. Here just simply click your profile again and just do this until this pops up in the bottom left of your screen. Now to open up the menu you do have to press in your right thumbstick which then allows you to pick a local server to play on, reducing lag and so many other things. Now it seems as though it's still kind of random in getting this to pop up but it does work if you keep trying. I had to do this about 5 times logging in and out to my profile to get this to pop up. But keep doing it people and it will appear for you. I have saw someone state, you have to wait at this menu for 60 seconds before changing profiles. I mean you guys can try that, see if it works for you. I actually didn't try it, I just literally loaded in and out of my profile about 5 times now. You could also probably try loading into Apex Legends without signing in if you can do that on Playstation. I know you can do it on Xbox but I ain't sure about on Playstation. Also on PC I do believe it's much easier to do, you come to this start menu screen where you have to press A to continue. And I have saw reports of people saying you just basically wait here for 60 seconds, press A or whatever it is to go into the main menu where you select your character and stuff and then just back out. But like I said I ain't a PC player but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But yeah guys this secret menu probably could solve all your issues if you are lagging all over the place. Now I know when I first opened this I was not on my closest server, my closest server is London and my ping's literally 2025 which is great for me. So yeah people do this, get this server menu to pop up and pick your closest server. Hopefully it helps your game run smoother guys. But on that note people, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legend videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.